Good afternoon. Today is Wednesday, July the 17th, and we are over here at Cable Channel 3, and I'm Dorothy Simon sitting in for Jim Lakey, uh, and uh, you can catch us on the web at sandylandcenter.org, or uh, like I said, on Cable Channel 3, or you can visit us. Come visit us for coffee in the morning. Uh, we're on the south side of the square at 110 East 3rd Street. And don't forget also that one of the things we do over here is that we have um, medical equipment on loan uh, that if you have need for any type of wheelchairs or any medical accessories, we can certainly offer that service to you. So come on by and visit us and see what we're up to. But today, uh, the hot um, weather continues, and there's a, a large and hot pressure, high pressure system that is centered over the Midwest, and this will cause very hot and humid temperatures. The high temperatures will be mostly in the 90s, with the heat indices between 90 and 100. And then there's also a cold front that is coming down from southern Canada, and that will break the back of the um, heat wave. Um, but it could also cause scattered thunderstorms. <coughs> Some of these storms may be severe, producing um, damaging winds and gusts. A hail and in some cases isolated tornadoes, but at least it will bring in a, a cooler pattern. But right now in the square, it is partly cloudy, it is 78 degrees with a relative humidity of 68 percent. And for the next six hours or so, it will remain partly cloudy with temperatures rising to 91 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, humidity at 55 percent and south southeasterly winds at 12 miles per hour. And uh, tonight's low will be in 68 to 70 degrees with clear, side, clear skies and relative humidity a little bit higher at 70 percent. Tomorrow, Thursday, it should be sunny, quite clear skies with a high of 95, the wind south southwesterly at 19 miles per hour, a little bit less humidity with the sun, the humidity should be about 54 percent, and uh, we should expect some clear nighttime skies with the low uh, at 70 degrees and 61 percent humidity, wind at south southerly at 18 miles per hour. Friday also, it should be mostly sunny, with a high of 93 and a low of 68, uh, with cloudy skies and perhaps a 10% chance of some rain. We have been having intermittent rains over the last couple of days. And in our community, today we want to wish John Rigel a happy birthday. And if you see John, you just thank him for all the sweet things that he does. Just thank him and wish him a happy birthday. And do mark your calendars um, for July 22 through the 26th. And this is for the Vacation Bible School that is happening at the First United Methodist Church. It's located at 807 East First Avenue. Uh, and please call over at the church at 620-549-3896 and the theme for the Vacation Bible School it's Everywhere Fun Fair and the children will have a great time with wonderful games and lots of singing and as they have great fun learning more about God and how other people have fun throughout. So do bring kids along and on Friday evening there should be a light um, supper that would be served. 
and also mark your calendars for July the 30th when the Senior Center will take a, a trip to Dodge and you can call over at the Senior Center for some more information uh, as the time gets closer. And of course today starts the Stafford Fair and tonight um, there should be a hamburger and watermelon feed and the horse show at 6 p.m. and the entrepreneurial contest. Those are just a few highlights um, of today's activities. Tomorrow evening, Thursday, it will be highlighted by the, the 4-H community appreciation um, where the 4-H will be serving um, ice cream and be thanking the community for all the support that they have given them through the year. On Friday, there should be a craft classes offered for the kids, and this year they should be making um, some survival bracelets, they call them. And the kids have great fun making those bracelets and wear, wearing them. So please mark your calendars for those days and come on out tonight anyway for the hamburger and the watermelon. It promises to be just a comfortable evening to do that. And on Saturday morning, to end it, uh, there should be a free community breakfast sponsored by the Chamber of Com Commerce and the, the year-round robin. This will show a, where the kids will show the different type of livestock that they have been nurturing through the through the year. That's very, very interesting and I know I learned a lot from that last year, so do come and support the young people as they show off their best cattle uh, and encourage them in so doing. And over at the Maxville Center, today we have a great menu. We have pepper steak served on rice with oriental vegetables and angel cake with strawberries and tomorrow they will have some hamburgers with cottage fries and deli fixings and a blueberry desert dessert and the next day they will have a taco salad uh, vegetable entree and tortilla chips and over at the Sunflower Center today they're serving ham with sweet potatoes green beans and a vegetable salad and an orange cake and Thursday they'll be serving roast beef potatoes casserole mixed vegetables and a spinach salad and a pie. And on Friday, this was serving ham and beans again, fried potatoes, carrots, jello, and a fruit crisp. Again, do support the senior centers in either places as they prepare quite nutritious meals. And like I like to think about it in the summer, nobody wants to cook, so do support them. And our thought for the day, uh, the difference between perseverance and obstinacy is that one comes with a strong will and the other comes with a strong won't. Difference between perseverance and obstinacy is that the first one comes with a strong will and the next one comes with a strong won't. <laughs> Thank you, have a good day and keep cool. And don't forget to support the Stafford Fair.